Hey, everybody. Welcome to ABA Inside Track, the podcast that's like reading in your car, but safer. What? Everyone's looking at me, your host, Robert Perry Cruz. I'm just looking at you. Because you're face. talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> and with me, as always, are my fabulous co hosts. Stana. You can't see my face. Oh, yes, you can. It's right there. There it is. And here's my face. Oh, now you can't see my face. Jackie, here hey. I am. Hey, everybody. It's been a while since we've. We've done, haven't done this in a while. Since we've done one of we these. We don't really know what we're doing. We've done one of these <laughs> preview episodes because we just had Supervision September where we just did episodes. After episode, after episode. So now i got to remember how to do video production, which we were never particularly good at. Mm-hmm. Um, but this isn't a preview episode to talk about how we're not going to be good at <laughs> video. This is a preview episode to talk about what exciting behavior analytic topic in the field of research we'll be discussing on next week's full-length episode. That'll be episode 41. 41. Nice. And you when probably want to know. When we what get that to is. episode forty-two, will we have learned the answers to everything? Yes. Uh, I guess. Sure. I will. Whatever, nerd. I don't know what you're that a is. Nerd. You're a towel. Hey, I'm such a nerd that I don't even know the reference that you're giving right now. So, uh, do you want to know what it is? Or yeah, it's a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. So you can see the person that doesn't read good. <laughs> What is this? Is Rob, what are we going to talk about for episode well, 41? So we're, we're, that's enough supervision. We're, we're not talking about supervision anymore. If you missed that, just go back into the archives okay. and listen to those episodes. We're going to be talking about sports performance. We're really shifting gears. Yeah. And we have a, a special guest. We have so fun. We have uh, Mallory Quinn, who has done... We actually had done her one of her articles in one of our grab bag episodes. It was talking about using tag teach to, to teach dance moves. Do you remember the scorpion guys? The scorpion kick from episode. Oh, it was a long time. It was episode like twelve. Twelve. Our first grab ago, bag. But she she yeah. contacted us and said, "Hi, I, I have a bunch of those articles." And we said, "Oh, really? I yeah. can't believe there's a ton on dancing and sports." And Mallory said, "Of course there is." And she gave us some new ones. And we said, "We should just do a whole episode, and you should be on the show." And she said, "I guess." No, she said yes. I'm she busy. said yes. She said, "I'm very busy with scorpion kicks." around the world no she was she, awesome to talk to yes yeah, she was very yeah. gracious to come on the show so we yeah. have a guest it's been a little while since we've not that long but it's been a little while since we've had a guest because yeah. supervision september took up so much time so you probably want to know at home saying well that's great guys uh but maybe this is the first time i've ever heard your show and i randomly am clicked on this horrible preview episode <laughs> um what do i have to look forward to and said, like, well you have two so articles much. to look forward to two i'm way off to the side two articles to look forward two. to in this upcoming episode and you can read them ahead of time you can just listen to us discuss them and then read them after the fact and just have them for the archives and these articles as picked by mallory quinn our guest for next week are a performance improvement program for an international level track and field athlete by scott scott and goldwater from the journal of applied behavior analysis in 1997 and then another article by mallory you can go back and read the other one back in episode 12, but you probably want to read this new one because it's called An Intervention Featuring Public Posting and Graphical Feedback to Enhance the Performance of Competitive Dancers by Mallory Quinn, Milton Berger, Abreu, Naranzanak, and that's from Behavior Analysis in Practice 2017. Ooh, I can't Hot wait to see this press. graphic feedback. Watch out. <laughs> graphic. <laughs> Not for children. Grab a call. Sorry. Not for children. I, we haven't done these in a long time. Yeah. It's it's Thursday. I think it's going really well. Yeah, yeah me too. Really, it's just, really this is well. A, this is a high water mark for the show. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually we do these, if you're new to the show, we do these in between our full length episodes because it takes a lot of prep to get the episodes ready. But we just knocked it out of the park with three in a row, all about supervision. I think we did. You'll have been able to give us feedback as to whether those and you should. were just as good as this video by that time. Give us some feedback. Yes. One thing that we did not go over in our Supervision September episodes was how to receive feedback. Yes. Did you know this? That we didn't talk about it? It's true. I, I did. No. I did know that. So I want to give the audience two types of feedback that we have. Wait, but I want to tell them some tips. Oh, okay. First, so they sure. know what to look for. Okay. So in terms of receiving feedback, so our, our, in our last episode we talked about giving feedback but you also need to be able to take feedback this is true if you are a podcaster a behavior analyst or someone supervised by a behavior analyst and here are some do's these are from greatleadershipbydan.com 
I found these years ago. I thought they were very helpful. Oh. So do seek feedback on a regular basis. Do receive feedback as a gift. Oh, I like that. It will give you honest information to improve your performance. Do let the person finish what he or she is saying. Do try to paraphrase what you are being told. Nothing says I actually paid attention to what you said, like paraphrasing what was said to you. I like I'm the that. master of the hmm, hmm, hmm. You really are. So if you ever see me doing that, assume I've fallen asleep. I was just going to say, it probably <laughs> means he's actually sleeping. But if I'm able to repeat back what you said, I got you. I you was know, not it asleep. It still doesn't mean that he's not been asleep. I'm very good at sleeping and listening at the same time. Do ask clarifying questions. So questions, if you don't understand the feedback, ask to clarify. So when you said, I'm not good at this job, did you mean this particular job I'm currently working on or every aspect of this job? <laughs> or the, the career I've chosen. The career I've chosen is the question. Do ask for specifics if not provided. So when you said, I broke everything at the <laughs> residence, could you tell me specifically what I broke? Do ask the person to give you alternatives to your behavior. Here's a tip. If you watched any of our office space, uh, how not to supervise. So fun. Fee uh, feedback videos, which we, we put on. I mean, we didn't make office space, but we I put a little <laughs> clip at the beginning. So therefore, it counts now as mine. So the manager comes in and he's like, we got to talk about your flair. And you should wear all these pieces of flair, like pins on your uniform. And he's sort of hinting that he would like her to do more than the bare minimum but without just explicitly telling what she should do, sort of just hinting like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm, you, you gotta guess what I want you to do. And if your feedback requires the person to guess what you want them to do, they're not going to do it. And then you're left with the alternative of either realizing you're not a good supervisor or being mad at them for not doing a good job, but it's not really their fault. So do um, give alternatives or ask for alternatives if they're not given. Do monitor your nonverbal and emotional responses. Mm, that's an angry face. That's not a good feedback face. Don't do that one. Do thank the person for being helpful to you. We have to start assuming our supervisors actually care about our well-being as opposed to are just jerks, which is how I used to think supervisors were. But I, I don't, I haven't for many years. But, you know, there's always a period in everyone's life when they think their supervisor's out to get them. And You're I bet in your you, Holden Caulfield phase? My Holden Caulfield phase, that's right. Do it take the time to evaluate the information after the feedback is given? Here's some don'ts. Don't take it personally. That's hard. That's it something you should hard. say to yourself a lot. It's not personal. It's not personal. It's not me. It's, it's just my the job. It's, it's my behavior in the job. Yeah. Don't explain your behavior. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. the, what's the, I, I feel like there's. You a, say never complain, never explain. Yeah. Never complain, never explain. Oh, I like that. Yeah. There's nothing where if I give someone feedback and they're going to be like, well, here's, I'm like, oh, no, nope, you know what? Here's my new feedback. You're fired. Oh, stop it. I don't really, I don't have higher fire. I'm going to get a shirt that says that. Here's my feedback. You're fired. No, no uh, explain, no complain. Yeah, never explain, never complain. Don't interrupt. Don't be afraid to allow pauses and periods of silence. It's okay if you need to sit and think how you want to ask a clarifying question or you just want to take a second to process. So don't, don't be afraid to let that happen. Um, don't make the, per the supervisor defend their opinion. And don't, yeah, don't make excuses. They kind of already did that one twice. Come on, Leadership by Dan. That one's serious, though. They really don't want that to don't, happen. Never complain, never explain. Okay. Just accept it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to give you two examples of feedback that we have received as review on the iTunes store, and I want you to take it. Okay. Okay? I'm not going to tell you which one is which. Okay. Okay. First one happened. Um, on August 18th. Okay. Love the research included in each podcast and the episodes that include a guests are my favorites. How great to have the researcher. Awesome job. I always learn something. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's good to know that you like, so are there specific guests that you liked the most? iTunes review? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a clarifying question. But right. That's good. We, yeah, we can't really ask questions no. No. for a review. So. But thank you. We appreciate that yeah, feedback. It's nice. We, will, we, will, we, uh, we love having guests as well. So thank you for letting us know that is valuable to you as a listener. And I love that it's very sp specific. Yes. 
You were very specific. You just said, you guys are great. She's like, these are my things that I like. If you want to leave us a five-star review that says you guys are great, I mean, we're, we're not going to complain. That's that's totally nice of you. So that one was a five-star review. Never complain. Never we complain. will never complain. <laughs> okay. So here's your next one. Okay. How will you respond? I really enjoy this podcast and it has given me very useful information about articles in the field that I wasn't aware of. I also appreciate the connections of the articles chosen to hot topics in the field today. However, the way the research is discussed sometimes sounds like my friends sitting around making fun of a reading assignment. Whoa, whoa, okay, stop right there, stop right there. All right, let me interrupt you for a second to tell you that that's fun, I think. You know, maybe you don't like your friends. Could that be the problem that you're having with this feedback? <laughs> I think this is inappropriate. And scene, thank you very much. Yes. That was how not to take feedback. So, what should we say about this? I'm going to pause and think. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time to let us know about the things that you really like about the show and the things that um, maybe don't always sit as well for, for you. We will always try to keep our professionalism in the front of our show, and, and we will make sure to do that. And we'd like to be silly, but it is good to know at what point we might be getting too silly. So thank you so much. That was nice, Rob. Yeah. For nothing. That thanks for that feedback. Oh, thanks. bring it back so in. So much. No, that actually was great feedback. That was good. It was I'm ju- it's a, I'm it's a character. It's called Thank did you. you. Did you learn from the feedback? Called though? feedback Fred. Yeah, yes. I guess I I I I found leadership by Dan. Dan yeah. has taught me all I need to know about I'm taking just back teasing feedback. I'm teasing you. So yeah, no, that's so, good feedback. Thank you. So just the the nice thing is that both types of feedback were very specific. So mm-hmm. we knew exactly what you liked and what you didn't like. Nobody compliments sandwiches all over the place. So that's good. Um, and I think Rob, when he wasn't being... That was a character I was playing. When he wasn't being the character, he he, he received his feedback well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just wanted well, to add thanks. that as a little caveat. Yes. Yeah. And if anyone wants to leave us reviews on iTunes, we really appreciate it. Or uh, fa- I guess you can leave reviews on Facebook as well. No, you can well. leave them on Facebook as well but itunes helps other people find the podcast so that's extra super helpful and we appreciate it whether you want to give completely positive or constructive feedback both are will be well received yes yes we love absolutely we love to do the show and we love to get the word out about behavior analysis we love to provide uh, additional uh, you know continuing education opportunities for for listeners who, who choose to um Choose to purchase CEs through us. Not this preview episode. You can't get CEs for this because nope, it's, it's just a bunch of nothing. But we do appreciate any feedback. And anyone who takes the time either to, to like us or to comment on our Facebook page, AB Inside Track, uh, to interact with us on Twitter, where I've, I've been trying to put some things on there. I'm not as good at Twitter. I'm not um, either. And, or or to, you know take the time and, and really with iTunes or Google Play or, or Stitcher, any of the places where the podcast is downloaded those mm-hmm. those are very important because i think it lets people who might just be searching for aba type news really lets people know is this a show worth listening to and to be honest if your feedback were negative or whether it's positive it's all stuff that we want to take in because this is a show that we want to make sure you are enjoying right yeah. i mean we could just make our own show for us and that'd be fun too but you know we want people <laughs> to enjoy the show and that that comes from feedback so thank you. Anyone who took the time to leave feedback, thank you, thank you, thank you. It really means a lot to us. And I know when I see any review whatsoever. Um, we take it seriously. Yeah, but I mean, it, it really brightens my day. Like I see like, oh, a thing came in. Like, oh, wow. Thank you. Someone took the time to to, yeah. to write us a word or give us some tips. Uh, thank you. And I know someone else gave us feedback on, on the audio mixing. I apologize. Uh, I don't want to complain or explain. Um, but if anyone ever has tips about audio mixing and how to get sounds right, please let me know. I would love to learn more. Audio, if you Google audio stuff on the internet, it, it assumes you have a great knowledge of how to do this stuff. And I don't know. We're working through it. Yeah. We, we would have taken an intern if you want to work for free. Yeah, if you want yeah. to be an intern, <laughs> do our engineering. We'd love that. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. that was a little rusty. I'll be honest. Yeah. I'm going to give us some feedback. That was kind of a mess <laughs> right there. Specifically, the whole part in which we talked. But it was fun. Yeah. And that's I only want to say one other thing, if that's okay, before we go. <sighs> which guess. is that Babbitt is coming up. Yeah. I believe it will be next week when you guys are hearing this, that Babbitt will be happening. And the three of us will be there. So if you are at Babbitt 
and you want to say hi to us, please do so. And uh, that'll be fun. We'll be around. Yeah. yeah. See you at Babbitt. We can't yeah. wait to see you. If you got tickets, because that thing sold out in like five minutes this year. Yeah. I'm yeah, volunteering. They might be a bigger venue. Yeah. yeah. They're looking to do it. Yeah. It was in the this ep- issue of the New England Behavior Analyst. Mm hmm. All right. Great. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, anyway, we'll be back next week with sports sports performance and improvements with with our guest Mallory Quinn. Thank you so much for watching our preview. Next week is the real Magilla, awesome chock full of behavior analytic research. But until then, uh thank you so much Jackie and Diana for being here. Thank you all so much for watching or listening to the show. We'll be back next week with that full-length episode. But until then, keep responding. Bye. 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 Bye.